It's been many moons since we have last taken a deep delve into the backstories of our favorite under the sea creature guided by our favorite mad scientist, the theorizer. I'm sure by now, if you're watching this, you already know what the deal is with these damn SpongeBob videos. I don't even gotta explain it. This time we've got how Mr. Krabs' money has destroyed him. Now the thing with this, after watching that evolution theory and hearing Alex Bale's take on the backstory of Mr. Krabs, dude, this, this dude, Mr. Krabs, is an absolute psychopath. This time, we're gonna get the Mad Scientist flavor packet sprinkled onto this one, bro. So I'm sure we're gonna be in for one of the bumpiest of rides so far, bro. I hope you guys got your seatbelts on. Eugene Harold Krabs is the owner and boss of The Krusty Krab, a restaurant from the Nickelodeon TV show SpongeBob SquarePants. Right. He is the boss of SpongeBob, but his motivations lie not with the well-being of his employees, himself, or even his business, but instead all lie in one domain, the simple area of money. Money. He is absolutely obsessed. Hey, bro, I gotta respect it, dude. Mr. Krabs is all about his paper, bro. Like, he's chasing the stacks. Stacking the bands, bro. Like he's he's four foot two, but when he stands on his money, he's six foot two, bro. You gotta respect that. He's a real he's a real hustler, a bag chaser. Domain. The you know what I mean? Area of money. He is absolutely obsessed with money, bills, coins, any sort of payment. He conserves it beyond belief and goes to psychologically. How does he feel about bonds? You know what I'm saying? Like government issued bonds or 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 stocks. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some, maybe some, maybe some treasury notes. Does he have a 401k, bro? Like I feel, I feel like these are these are unanswered questions. Coins, any sort of payment, he conserves it beyond belief and goes to psychologically damaging lengths to get even the smallest amount of change. Why does he do this? Is his greed caused by an obsession with the status lots of money grants you? Is it an obsession with maintaining a large amount of savings? Or is it quite simply the physical money itself? It's because this we live in a capitalist society and if you don't have thousands and millions of dollars, you will die. That's what it is. You will, you will, that's it. That's the question it. I really want that's an answer it. to. There's your answer. I've been able to successfully crack Capitalism. the psychology that's the of answer. each SpongeBob character I've analyzed so far, except him. I've diagnosed Patrick with identity Entity dissociation, Mrs. Puff with paranoid Psychotic. insanity, and Squidward with obsessive depression, but Eugene Krabs needs his day in court. I need all of those are depressing, by the way. Fun, fun fact, the backstory of all of those characters is very sad and depressing, and I'm still, I still haven't gotten over it yet. To give one long-winded diagnosis of whatever he's got going on in that bewildering noggin. Bewildering. I like that word. Y'all already know the deal. He likes it when you give him a big old juicy fat spanking on his like and sub. Go tell him Chris sent you. Tell him Chris told you to spank him. Hello. What the I fuck? Am this is Eugene Krabs, the foolish mo- So there was just, there was no reason for that then. You just, you just throw that in there. Just for the, just for the laughs. You are a sick man, Theorizer. Hello, I am the Theorizer. You are a sick man. This is Eugene Krabs, the foolish miser that will go to very severe lengths to protect his money. He is delusional at times. He treats okay. the physical bills as if they are conscious entities deserving of pampering and worship. This is a delusion, an obsessive one. Whether it be the idea of money or the objects that are money, this crab believes it deserves its own status as the best thing that exists. Okay. Injuring others is fine if it's in the service of money. People mean nothing to him. They are all just the means to money. In one episode, he sold SpongeBob's soul for 62 cents, if I recall. SpongeBob and Birth Squidward it. are paid illegally low. He loves his daughter and maybe his mother. That's it. Everybody else can burn for all he cares. But that slight familial love, it brings mm, a I like that. I like that. He's got love for his family, his money, and everybody else can burn, dude. I, I identify with that, dude. I really, I really, 
I really feel that. And for all he cares, but that I really feel slight that. familial love, it brings a restriction, a maximum, to his heartlessness. Almost every episode contains his monetary endeavors, so I can't go into every example, but you get the point. Mr. Krabs is a very greedy crustacean, so why, psychologically? First of all, Mr. Krabs is not a psychopath or a sociopath. He genuinely... You sure about that? Are you... Are you absolutely certain about that? Is that... Is that a solid, strong claim that you really want to make? That Mr. Krabs is not a psychopath? Are you sure about that? Mr. Krabs is not a psychopath or a sociopath. He genuinely cares for Pearl and yes, often does consider the well-being of some people, so long as money has just absolutely some of them. nothing to do with the situation. Just, just some In of terms them. of nature, he does seem to have inclinations towards a personality of status, though not even remotely to the extent of whatever we see in the show. He doesn't appear to be overall insane or delusional either, just selectively crazy when it comes to a single topic. There is a very simple reason for this. Mr. Okay. Krabs has personified money and is in love with the concept of it. Mr. Krabs is literally in love with money. Or at least he thinks he is. Oh. This oh. Well, I feel like this leads to some very interesting topics. For example, does he try to lay pipe on the money like I, I feel like that is that's something we need to know is literally in love like does money. he is he try to or at least he thinks he is he be doing this foreplay love is obsessive and continually goes so far that he loses sight of the fact that money is not sentient or conscious let alone sapient or even reciprocal. He is delusional in the highest order and blinded by love with his obsession. He likely fears that the money is cheating on him by being owned by others. If you can find examples of all his rom- The money is cheating on him by being owned by others. Dude, the money's trifling thoughts, bro. This is why I tell y'all, bro, dicks before chicks. Cause look it, look it, even when money has been personified, even when it's not a living, breathing, sentient being with, with an ass, dude, even if it's just some as paper as money, bro, the, 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 the money is a, is, is a woman and it cheated on Mr. Krabs, bro. Look at what happens. Money is cheating Look at what I keep, I keep telling y'all. I keep, y'all gotta listen to me more. By being owned by others. If you can find examples of all his romantic attachments to money in the episodes, do tell me below. But what could be a cause of this obsession? Well, I think Mr. Krabs had trouble forming healthy bonds as a child, and upon antagonizing his only friend, Plankton, he fell into the pit of high-key objectophilia. Mr. Krabs is on every possible level in love with money. Romantically, intellectually, obsessively, and it's all overlaid with severe delusion. If I remember correctly, I do believe Mr. Krabs was partially raised by a pirate family as a child. Mm -hmm. This understandably would result in the possibility of a failure to form complete relationships. A sort of childhood instilled Damn. attachment disorder, which psychologically is exactly the sort of thing known to develop into obsessive love disorder. Why is this one sad too? Mr. Krabs is lonely and cannot foster long-term relationships with genuine people, so he turns to personified money so that he could feel something from someone. Dude, now I'm sad. Now I'm now I'm depressed, bro. That's wonderful. So Mr. Krabs was partially I can't raised escape in a setting this existential that made it dread. To form proper relationships, which led to some attachment disorders and an overall obsessive love disorder seasoned with objectophilia. He lost his only true friend to business conflict and was left to love the single remaining thing that brought his childhood any pleasure, the rewarding outcome of business, money. But why exactly did he love money That's as sad, a physical bro. thing to begin with? Before we go through all of the examples I can think of off the top of my head to prove all these diagnoses, mm -hmm. I must look into the very moment Mr. Krabs became attracted to money during his childhood, because this isn't a greed thing anymore. 
Mr. Krabs, I think, is designed to mimic a pirate. He's got the accent. He's got the money, money, money. Ack, yeah. ack, 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 ack. He's got the whole pointy peg leg things going on. Makes sense, seeing as how he was raised partially by pirates. But the obsession goes far deeper than pirates. Yeah, and pirates are always right. Pirates are just like me. Always on the hunt for some booty. So that makes some sense. Ding. At least most of the time he gets his money legally through his business, but pirates are greedy, not obsessive. And he didn't truly understand money until his job with Plankton. No. At first, the money intrigue was likely to compensate for being poor, or simply because of being related to pirates. An intrigue. An intrigue that spiraled. So, Mr. Krabs has an objectophilic attachment to money out of compensation for his pirated childhood and loss of plankton. It is so severe that it is delusional, religious, and nearly some form of far-gone obsessive love disorder. Cool. This is why you don't do business with friends. This is why you end up, your mind spirals out of control. You end up getting a objectophilia, which that word kind of freaks me out a little bit. Objectophilia. You become, you become, you become an objectophile. That's what happens, dude. I'm telling you. Religious and nearly some form of far gone obsessive love disorder. Cool. Let's find some examples of his limits. So up until this point, I've literally been presuming that he was poor, but I can confirm that, yes, in another backstory episode of his, he is indeed in need of money. Clearly, some elements of his greed were spawned by this upbringing, leading to the literal addiction of keeping all the money he makes at all costs. In okay. the episode Clams, he goes to extreme lengths to get a single dollar, endangering SpongeBob and Squidward via starvation and utilization as literal bait. In Krabby Land, he builds an extremely dangerous theme park, careless towards the injuries children may face. All for a little more money. I don't know, man. Looks like a fun, looks like a fun time to me, dude. I think every dude, this 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 absolutely does not look like a death trap that every child should go on. Not at all. Park careless towards the injuries children may face. All for a little yeah, more I th I th money. I think every single child should go on there. Absolutely. He uses Gary as a money attractor in the scent of money, much to everyone's abused dismay. To protect his money and business, he goes to severe lengths by spying on his staff, inserting himself into their lives, and he even poisons the health inspector in the Nasty Patty episode. He notoriously underpays his staff. I even tried doing a general calculation of how much income he makes back when I narrated the videos with a robotic voice. It's a lot of money. And the staff get none of it. He forces them all to work far too much and gives them nothing in return. I do believe that at one point SpongeBob so pays basically Jeff Bezos. the supposed privilege of working. Squidward is too depressed to do anything, as we all know very well, but Krabs preys on SpongeBob's naivety. His whole establishment is far too cheap, and he does anything he can to save money. It's a disgusting restaurant. Dude, look at what happened, bro! Look at what y'all think I'm sitting here joking! Y'all think I'm sitting? Y'all think I'm sitting here joking? Look at what happened, bro. Mr. Krabs was perfectly normal. Then he gets introduced to capitalism and becomes a piece of shit, bro. The brink with health code violations, which I'm sure can and will now be researched. He's robbed graves, plotted mass schemes in cold blood, like the ectothermic crusty crustacean he is, and the theft. Good God, he steals more and more, but not necessarily in a kleptomanic sort of way. In short, as you can see, Mr. Krabs is seriously troubled. He was raised half by pirates who are stereotypically fond of money and half in poverty, which led to an overall strong oh, fixation. Oh, with... that makes sense. That makes sense. So being raised by pirates is what made him like the money and then be growing up poor is what made him want to keep all of the money that he, okay. I got it. I got it. When he started his business with Plankton, this fascination evolved into a deeply greedy undertone. And when he and Plankton split, he turned to money out of comfort. In a life of being bullied for his poverty, Mr. Crab saves his money and refuses to let it go. This comfort, greed, and necessity all push him over the deep end given time, and he begins to anthropomorphize money. This personification evolves into a subservience, a treatment of it as royalty. A bullied, poor, and pirated childhood. Okay, I can't read you just threw out 15 words that i cannot 
discern. And given time, and he begins to anthropomorphize money. Anthropomorphize what? His personification evolves into a subservience, a treatment subservience. of royalty. A bullied, poor, and pirated childhood that left him with attachment issues redirected itself at this newfound personification and pushed him into a state of obsessive love disorder mixed with objectophilia. Tragic. In my completely there's that, quasi- There's that fucking word, objectophilia. By professional psychiatric Jesus. opinion. Mr. Krabs and Plankton need to stabilize their relationship. True. A professional psychiatric opinion. If the theorizer is your psychiatrist, the world has officially fallen. That's all I'm gonna say. Mr. Krabs and Plankton need to stabilize their relationship. Truly. Plankton only continues tormenting Krabs because he feels betrayed. A dime is worth more than their old friendship. Plankton is jealous, envious of the money he lacks. A love triangle of sorts. As I always do, I'll now put it into one compactly complex sentence. Mr. Krabs is a multi-millionaire cheapskate raised on attachment disorders, bullied poverty, and greed, all accumulating in objectophilia turns subserviently anthropomorphizing obsessive love disorder regarding the concept and physical content of money after losing his childhood friend due to business conflict. Bro, I'm pretty sure they got this framed at the White House, dude. Like this, this right here, this, this, this frame right i got this framed and it's hanging up in the oval office for inspiration dude it's like one of those inspirational quotes and that is my diagnosis of mr crab mr crab is a multi-millionaire cheapskate raised on attachment disorders bullied poverty and greed all accumulating in objectophilia turned subserviently anthropomorphizing obsessive love disorder regarding the concept and physical content of money after losing his childhood friend due to business conflict Seems pretty straightforward to me. Abs. Overall, you could say he has a money disorder, which is a real thing, but his goes to particularly bizarre areas, which I have now detailed. As you all may remember, I diagnosed Plankton's plan, dare I say, but I can add to it now with more details. Plankton is an attritional, rapid force, psychologically manipulative war mastermind of breakdown, locked in a loop of envy regarding his ex-friend's objectophilic fixation. Plankton is an attritional, rapid force, psychologically manipulative war mastermind of breakdown. Kind of like me. Locked in a loop of envy regarding Reminds me of myself a little bit. fixations. As you can see, I'm bringing in all the videos for this one. The money calculations, the war strategies, and I'm sure Plankton has some sort of inferiority like Squidward too. If you have any more instances where Mr. Krabs does stuff noteworthy to fit this diagnosis, please comment it below. I could make a follow-up where I read the comments in a video and attempt to prove it deeper. I need to analyze specific situations from more episodes. In fact, even if you don't normally comment, just comment anything you can think up. Also, make sure to like the video that's Go quite like it! Spank his like! YouTube's algorithm at the moment. Spank Subscribe his booty. and ring the bell if you haven't yet. I mean, even if you just sometimes watch me, it would be easier to subscribe. Alright, is that it? Help me better comprehend is that what we got? my own analytics. There are more SpongeBob diagnoses to come. Mm, Until they're terrifying. Next time, I'm the theorizer. Dude! Bro, why do these always have to be so sad and depressing? Like, 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 Mr. Krabs is obsessed over money because of his broken childhood. He grew up poor and was brutally and violently bullied for it. He got atomic wedgies and swirlies on the daily, bro. Finally makes a friend who actually enjoys being around him. And then they, 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 that friendship crumbles and falls. He was, he was half raised by pirates who never loved him, dude. And then finally he gets introduced to the world of capitalism and becomes a greedy, money-obsessed psychopath, dude. This is kind of sad and depressing, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't know why he does this to me. This is like, this is like, like Alex Bale comes and he throws a right hook. And then, and then the theorizer comes out of nowhere and throws an uppercut and knocks me clean the fuck out, dude. I'm down for the count, bro. Because, dude, these, these SpongeBob videos are on, are, are on a whole other level, bro.